Hey, I'm Captain Ben Wolf with Sportfish Michigan. You know, we're out here on Platte Bay. We're gonna jig up some lake trout this morning, but you know, I wanna show you a little bit more in depth the setup that we're using to target these lake trout as well as the salmon. You know, it's a really simple setup and I just wanna go through that with you a little bit more in depth, you know, show you kind of what we're doing to rig and how to get after these fish. We're jigging big lake trout, but actually this is where we do a lot of our salmon uh, coho jigging. And I wanna show you the rig that we're using to do this. Now this is actually a G. Loomis 7'1 E6X. It's a walleye bottom bounce rod, but I actually like it for these cohos because in these big trout, you know, the, the deal is it's a really, it's got a great backbone to it, but it's got a fast action tip. And for jigging, I really like anywhere from a six foot rod to a seven foot rod. You know, really anything longer than that can be a little bit more cumbersome and you actually overwork the jig. Anything shorter than that, it could just be a little bit, you know, you're, I feel like you're under gun. I like a seven foot rod personally, just because there's a plenty of rod to really let the fish do what it wants to do. Then I'm not really winching on the reel. I'm letting the rod, the line, and my drag do all the work for me. And then I just get to have the fun part. So this is actually a 200 size Shimano reel. It's a low profile bait caster. You can use bigger. Lots of people use spinning rods and that's just fine too. What I like about this is I can, uh, I can drop down, I can open the bale, and I can shut the bale very easily because as we're moving around, we, we sometimes change depth contours. And this allows me to really change very quickly. I want a drag that's set fairly tight, but I can still pull it out. That way, when a fish gets it and he runs, they're gonna tear themselves out, but it's not so tight that we're gonna end up breaking the, the, the line. The other thing about this drag setting is you want it a little bit looser than you might think, especially because we're using braid. There's zero stretch in this braid. And so when we're using this braid, which is a Max Quattro uh, braid, it allows the, you know, the fish to do its thing. The rod is gonna cushion this, and then the drag is gonna do the work. One thing that I really like for these Great Lakes salmon and lake trout jigging, I really want a fluorocarbon leader. I use anywhere from a six to an eight foot leader and for when we're, you know, trout fishing, I like uh, a 14, 12, 14, sometimes 16 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. But when we're using, um, you know, when we're fishing for, for salmon, I like an 18 or even 20 pound, depending on, on what these cohos, you know, and if we're jigging kings, actually I'll even jump up to 20 or 25 pound. But anyway, a fluorocarbon leader is really critical, especially in this really clear water that we have on the Great Lakes. Um, and then I'm using a snap. I'm not using a snap swivel because then the thing twists, which is great for a snap swivel. That's what it prevents doing. But I want, I feel like it, it actually limits some of the action. It doesn't force some of the action that these snaps uh, allow. And so this is just a regular snap. And, you know, this is a 75 pound snap, so it's not gonna break. Um, I want something really beefy because, you know, the last thing you wanna do if you hook into a nice fish is have the snap be the reason why you lost that fish because you know you're using it too small and the bigger a snap also allows that you know that jig to really work well and give a lot of erratic action which is exactly what the triggering point is for these fish so anyways that's the setup the medium heavy um, you know action rod with a fast tip anywhere from that six to uh, seven foot length fluorocarbon leader a snap and we're ready to go if you're looking for a captain or a guide in the state of Michigan, please give Sportfish Michigan a call or check us out on the web, sportfishmichigan.com.